the current is ripping. The boat also barely starts. If something does happen, we're gone. We are gone. Hopefully nothing happens. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, not, hopefully nothing happens, you know? Okay. Hey, in the meantime, I'm gonna fill her pontoons back up because for some odd reason, um, they keep deflating. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a lot going on right now. Let me do this really quick though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's good. That's good. Remember when we took Namity? Namity? What the? <laughs> f oh, remember when we took Namity to go catch Gar? Not that clip. The other clips. Oh. 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 <laughs> those, those clips. We're going back to the SS Petunia, the baby girl we bought in Miami. You following me? She's home in Texas. We're gonna go catch massive fish, but we're gonna do it the cool way. We're gonna build a massive fish trap to do it. I have a little bit of leftover gear. You're probably wondering why we're in a rush. It is, it's currently 423. We're two hours from the spot and we're camping there and there's gonna be an added bonus. Last time we brought one dog, now we're bringing both and Nami and the boat and a fish trap and I brought some extra bait. <laughs> this is too much for my mental health. Didn't we just upload like five minutes ago? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got Brody and... Oh God! Oh. He's excited to go now. He was terrible. Look at him just sitting there. And he's got that thing that's coming out of the bottom of him. Wow, he must be really excited. I do that a lot. Yes, I do. <sighs> we're about to go catch some big baby mamas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need those three. All right, that's close enough. Okay, next stop, Walmart and then the river. It's okay. <laughs> Why are you scared of everything? He's scared of his own shadow. <laughs> I had to change shirts because I spilled an entire can of cranberry juice on my other one. I completely forgot we need a tent. Oh. 12 person star viewing glamping tent. Brinson, that's $224. <laughs> No. Do they have an Alibaba section? That's cool. Eight person dual dome tent. Dude, that is so cool. It's, a, it's got a bedroom. Ooh. Six per, $99. Guys, I can't do this right now. Ooh. That is a lot of baggage to travel with, I will not lie. Dude, we could just get two three-person dome tents. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to get. I'm starting to panic right now. I don't know what to do. Uh, One-person backpacking tent? Brenton, we're in a time crunch too, so you're just gonna need to decide. I can't do this right now. I'm done. Brenton, we can't. Brenton, I, I don't, why do you put the camera on me? I don't know what to do. Get it off, get it off. This is $69, so this is obviously the lucky tent. We're taking this one, the four person. Three people, two dogs, that's four people. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It went up like another 20 feet. What? Oh my God. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. How is it that high? Bro, it's pretty much at the bridge now. It's gone up at least 40 feet. Yes, easily. I cannot believe how high that is. Y'all thought it was high last time? Oh my. Wait till you see it now. Oh my, dude, how is this even possible? The boat ramp's gone. Literally no Do y'all remember what it looked like last time? This is the highest I've ever seen this river. And that was like 20 feet high. Dude, I, I don't even know which way the boat ramp turns. I'm gonna have to walk in there and find it out. We were walking way down there to get Rocky in the boat. That's down there. What? I'm pulling up to land now. I can't, I can't even fathom how high this is. I don't know where we're gonna sleep. Everything's gonna be mud. This is not good. The dogs also ran into the forest. Goodbye. 
Okay, like again, we're checking. I don't even know if she starts. That seems to be a regular issue, unfortunately. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, um, all of this is for nothing. All right, baby mama, you have no choice but to turn on. I love that. Okay, brother. So that means turn over. I got really worried there for a second that it wasn't gonna turn on, but she's on one. Why would the SS Petunia ever not turn on? There's probably a lot of reasons, but she, she did turn on. Not very happy at the moment. set sail nami okay we're probably gonna sink no we're not <laughs> i don't know about that we probably will sink. it's not looking too good at the moment oh i brought my bathing suit okay <laughs> am i sitting on the floor you okay you're all wet okay okay come on you gotta get up though you can just hear it Damn. good boys oh yeah if they jump out nami don't freak out we'll be okay i can turn around and get it they can swim they're not jumping out. Jackie tried to jump out. Probably. Look at Brody. Get off my phone. Get off my phone. It's okay. No, Brody. Brody, no. You cannot pop those tubes. We'll be in big trouble. We're officially all loaded up. The boat is packed. Naomi's the first passenger on the SS Petunia. <laughs> we have the dogs. They'll probably jump out. No, they're not. We have a massive fish trap. And I think people forget the craziest part. We're driving over some of the biggest freshwater fish in the world. That's the spot from last time. That what? That was the spot from last time. It is 20 feet underwater underwater. Okay. Get down. Get down. The boat's not gonna work. The river's too strong, obviously. <laughs> the water's too high. The only place to camp is under the bridge. <laughs> That's it. Look how strong this is. That's insane. Do you want me to get out and push? <laughs> well, I can push. Right there, baby. That's a frame. If I've ever seen a frame, it looks like a picture frame. I mean, that is phenomenal. All this has to do is catch a fish that is twice the size of it. That's all it's gotta do. It should be fine. And it's and it's dark, and we're probably gonna get robbed because all the people passing by. And uh, the river's flowing so fast. We may wake up in the trap. Maybe in Houston. <laughs> Might be in Houston, Texas. <laughs> I think Jake and I decided on the name for this one. We don't even need to ask y'all. Don't worry. The SS best trap ever. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. Not gonna lie. So if you take a gander really quick, it's right under my height. I'm eight foot four. I grew. And if you look, all we gotta do is put it like this. And because of the current, the bait's gonna go down into there, into that bottom section. 
and the guard are gonna come in like this, which means the current's gonna be pushing them that way. They can't turn around because we made it skinny. I don't know if you know what we're trying to catch. It's river monsters. <laughs> you can't turn around in this unless no. it breaks it. There's so much, it is double wrapped around there. And like, I can't even break that. So a guard probably can, but that's not the point. <laughs> we're gonna have to give it a shot. I just have zero idea how to even get it in the water in the middle of the night without losing it. We also might not even catch a gar, we might catch a turtle. But yeah. like last time, or catfish. <laughs> You're probably wondering why I'm even filling these up right now. We're taking her back out. In the dark. This is probably the dumbest idea ever, but the only way to get the trap out where the fish are is to literally take the trap out into the middle, drop it with a rope, take the rope back to the bank, and hopefully we can pull it in against the current, and hopefully we also get a fish. That's the only way to do this. Other problem is, the current is ripping. The boat also barely starts. If something does happen, we're gone. We are gone. Hopefully nothing happens. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, not, hopefully nothing happens, you know? Okay. In the meantime, I'm gonna fill her pontoons back up because for some odd reason, um, they keep deflating. That's not good. <laughs> That should work, I think. I don't know, that, I mean, if I, would, I would eat that. I would literally, I would smell that from the current and go <laughs> And then I would, I can't say that. And then I would swim in here and then I'd make it my home. All right, if I'm being honest, this is miraculously unintelligent. We may not make it. Here we go, I can't see anything. You see, you see what's behind us, how it's black? Yeah, yeah, that's same same concept for for I. It was it's smoking, it's smoking. Oh my god! Oh my god! Watch what happens when we turn off all the lights. Yes. Watch what happens when we turn off all the lights. If I throw off these, and I throw off this headlamp, the only light that there is is that truck light over there. I just need to get this trap offshore. All right, here we go. We got a lot of rope. We're literally just gonna pull the, all of this rope back to the bank, and we're gonna pull the trap in from the bank. <sighs> Okay, we're not gonna be able to fish with actual rods because the current's too strong. I realized that when we were just out there, so the trap is kind of an all or nothing thing. I have no idea if anything's gonna go in that trap, but I'm gonna tell you one thing. I'm definitely not checking it until the morning because I'm gonna go to sleep after everything that just happened. Hopefully we're next to a literal highway. Not really one I would like. I've lived in Texas my whole life. This is not a highway I would, st I would stay next to. No. So hopefully things don't go south. If it does, hopefully it goes live on YouTube. <laughs> that was the worst decision we've um, ever made. The river got higher overnight. The fish trap took way too long to get in. And we're right next to a highway. It's not very easy to sleep when you hear that all night long. I'm going home. All right, that didn't go as planned uh, at all. Uh, not not even close. We didn't even we didn't even get to catch fish, so we're gonna have to run that back. But remember how we left that bag at the bottom of the bridge to try and track the people who stole our boat? Good like someone good. accidentally left it when they were carrying their stuff back, and then we put the trail camera up on this tree. Bobby, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna, I can't say that on YouTube. We left a bag at the bottom of a bridge. We put air tags in it and a trail camera. Well, two nights ago, something showed up. I've been seeing these photos every night, right? And the bag's there, it's these nighttime photos. I just got some more nighttime photos or whatever. I'm looking and they show up and watch what happens if it ever loads. The bag is gone! So I do a little bit of, little bit of recon, just swiping back through the camera roll. And look at this. We've got a group of boys who came and hung out with the bag, opened it up, looked through it, and then they took it. it I'm not going to say I know what I'm doing, right? But everyone commented, like, that's so dumb. Like, no one's going to fall for that. Like, the, it looks like you planted that there. Someone's going to take the trail camera. The trail camera is still there, and the bag is gone. And the air tags are with it. Yeah. What the hell? Was even that so because we were already all the way out there we decided why not go follow the air tags and pull up on the house um i think so not entirely oh no he just walked out to his truck what's up yeah quick question boss you do have the bag you don't have the boats though i don't want it to creep me out i had a tag and have to do it in the pond 
<laughs> two boats down there and someone stole them. But I had two boats down there, someone stole them, so I put a bag down there. We were pulling it up the bridge, it broke, fell down. And pulling it off the bridge? Off the bridge, yeah. Oh yeah, y'all are <laughs> great. <laughs> I was like, I wanted the person who stole the boats to take the bag. I have boats back there, but it ain't yours, bro. Okay, I, yeah. I don't steal boats. Hell, uh, mine, mine's <laughs> folded in half back there. It flew off on 45 and somebody smacked it. <laughs> Well, at least that's not our boat. So. so there's a very select few people who go down there, especially there's these two uh, Hispanic guys that I think. I get back home, he's like, bro, you have a air tag in your truck. So he, I call my girlfriend, I'm like, hey, did you put a air tag in my truck? <laughs> that is funny. And so this is not yours. She's like, no. So I'm like, I don't love nice you, you, Yes, sir. Well, no, I'll, um. Dang, bro. Oh, Dang. Really cool guy. We just, like, we just need the right people that go down there to take it. No one goes down there, but, like, a very small few people. So we keep putting something down there until someone, the right person takes it. He was super nice, though. I mean, he can keep the bag. I don't need the bag. <laughs> but I told y'all, no one has seen the trail camera. No one that got, has gone down there has seen that trail camera. Kid was super nice. Wrong kid. But he DM'd me just a little bit ago and said he thinks he knows the people who stole the boat. That is actually very helpful because I've been trying to get this video done for like eight months trying to find this boat. I, I don't know where they live. They, my butt, so he said that he was out there. I don't, I don't remember when he told me when. And he said that there was four guys that was out there and they're fishing or whatever. He seen them in the morning. Yep. And whenever he said, he said they were not in a boat in the morning. And whenever he left, he said that they were in a boat with, it was like, he said they had like two sit-up seats. Yep, that's it. That yeah, no, no, it would be a Jamba with those two sit-up seats. And uh, you know, that's funny because I was talking to CeeLo and he thought it was those guys. He, and said, he said all they do is go out there and fish. He said they cut heads off of fish. That was, um, bro. Yes, those are those are the guys. CeeLo said that because CeeLo had to get onto them because they were catching gar and then they were cutting the heads off of gar and uh, leaving them on the bank. And CeeLo had like went off on them and he was like, "Those are definitely the guys that probably stole your boat." So my buddy said that he knows he knows who one of them is and he lives in. Con okay. Do you know where? Con I, I'm semi familiar with it. Yeah. But he said that he's seen those dudes out there like a lot, like a lot, a lot. So the chances of seeing them back out there, man, is like high. It's high. So with that being said, I think we're going to be able to find them. We're about to get on a flight, so we're going to have to put that on pause. Although everyone who thought the air tag method didn't work, it, it did. Maybe not in the correct way, but it, it did. It did work. That's Brooke. Um, that's, that's our assistant, Brooke. You're probably wondering where she came from. <laughs> Yes, we're working on a huge project right now, and I need help. So there she, she's playing with the animal. That's Brooke. Uh, um, Hi. <laughs> and her shirt says www.fanatic.shop, which yep. by the way, that's coming out soon. Mm -hmm. I won't say anything else about it yet. <laughs> Guy was super nice, so that was good. I, we did confront the wrong person, which by the way, we narrowed it down. Regardless though, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Click the subscribe button down below. Wait, are we going to put something else down there? Oh yeah, no, no, we'll definitely find the guy. Um, we're going to take the next method, the... And that's how we'll get it out of them. I think I, can get, I think I can get in trouble for saying that. Oh, no. Brindley. Oh, oh, oh. Click the subscribe button down below. Brooke, uh, her paycheck relies on it. I love you guys. I'll catch you on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace. Come on, Nami. Get a hustle on it, Nami. Yeah. She's not a day past 30, let me tell you. Yeah, it's okay, Nami. I got it. You come on. Christ. Get over here, Naomi. <laughs>